If you want to learn how to free dive to 30 meters focusing on safety and technique, you are watching the right video. I made a couple of videos about how to dive to 10 and 20 meters a few years ago. And today is the next part, how to free dive to 30 meters. First of all, we're all different and what works for one freediver is not guarantee will work for another freediver. Nevertheless, today I will share my approach with you, which I use on my master freediver courses to help them, my master freedivers, reach 30 plus meters without the risk of LMC, blackout or squeeze. In my previous video, we talked about three things, buoyancy, technique and frenzy equalization. Before you begin your progression to 30 meters, come back to these three aspects and make sure you have a correct buoyancy, have more or less effective technique and keep working on your frenzy equalization. By the way, I recently made a video about how to learn frenzy equalization. If you haven't seen it, the link to this video is going to be in the description below. Today, I want to focus on another four things, uh, four steps, if you wish, uh, which can help you to reach 30 meters uh, safe and effectively. They are deep relaxation, flexibility, depth adaptation and further frenzy improvement. Let's start with the last step. It will help you if you begin regularly practicing dry equalization. You can do it without any equipment or use the equalization tool and the balloon up to you. The better your equalization skills, the easier you reach 30 meters. In the description, you will find uh, links to the videos where you can learn how to use equalization tool and the balloon for uh, improvement of your equalization skills. The next step is flexibility. Flexibility is a bit controversial because some freedivers say it's crucial, but others say you don't need to work on it too much. In my opinion, both flexibility and mobility is really important uh, conditions which better to have. And if you hear some already successful freedivers saying that you don't really need to spend that much time to improving uh, these skills, flexibility is a skill, uh, then more likely these people actually done it before in the past, achieve good flexibility and now not spending that much time now. But if you are a beginner, relatively beginner freediver, and if you doesn't have a, a long background in some yoga practices for many years, then more likely you're gonna benefit of uh, improving your flexibility and mobility and especially in your chest area because if you want to do a certain technique uh, if you want to keep your arms in a streamlined position if you want to do effective free immersion pulls if you want to have an effective monofin kick or bifin kick for all of this you need to have a certain range of motion and also flexibility potentially can reduce uh, the risk of different injuries. Another important step is deep relaxation. What I mean by that? On the video on how to dive to 10 meters I talked about the importance of relaxation breathing. Now is the time to level it up. You want to learn how to be relaxed even if you have mild discomfort. There are a few options such as exhale static or diaphragm stretching or any other type of the stretching. Uh, for example, this is my whole approach to different stretching. Uh, I'm not just, let's say, taking the position, I don't know, let's say shoulder stretch and just like stretch the muscles. I try to put myself in an uncomfortable, slightly uncomfortable position during the stretch and then try to achieve total relaxation, try to control that there is no overtension in my body. And I think these skills can be uh, transferred in your free diving skills in a relatively easy way. And the last step is depth adaptation. You want to slow down your progress on this part of your free diving journey. Yes, forget about reaching 30 meters faster. Think about how to do it slower. The slower your progression, the less chance to have a hypoxic event such as an LMC, blackout or some kind of squeeze. And here I want to just add a few words about like recently about some kind of feedback um, about like my teaching. Uh, like I have a one student, uh, she was staying with me a couple of weeks, I think like two and a half weeks, something like this. And I think during these two and a half weeks, we reached something like 24, 25 meters 
uh, this free diver, she uh, achieved quite good technique. Of course, not perfect, but pretty good. And then this uh, free diver, she was uh, like, uh, she left the island uh, and then moved on to another place. And then she was free diving with uh, uh, some other free diving instructor. And this free diving instructor asked her, uh, like, how long she was learning free diving. And she said, like, something like two or maybe even three weeks. And the instructor said, oh, like how stupid was your instructor that he only teach you how to dive to, let's say, 25 meters. And for me, this is actually an example that so many free diving instructors, they're actually advertising this idea like, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to dive to 20 meters in one day or to 30 meters in two days. And this some kind of advertisement uh, I see it almost every day that people kind of promoting that okay we, we're gonna have some kind of special unique technique which is gonna allow you like magically reach these depths like 30 meters or some breath hold time like five minutes or three minutes and guys this all is a uh, ways of cutting the corners you want to have a good foundation you want to have a good progression. You don't want just randomly reaching some numbers on your computer, like, oh, the new PB, I'm now becoming a better free diver. You don't want to have this. You want to, uh, you want to build a good foundation. Okay, now let's have a look at a couple of examples of uh, how the progression from 20 to 30 meters uh, can look like. Okay, here is uh, three different versions of how your progression can look like. As I said in the beginning of this video, we're all different, so our progression can look completely different. So on a option number one, you can progress uh, each training day. Remember, it doesn't have to be uh, training days in a row, right? Uh, you can uh, dive two, three days in a row and then have a day off. So let's say training day number one, 20 meters, and then you can do 22, 24, 26. Then, since it's getting uh, deeper, you can slow down your progression and start progressing maybe only one meters at each session until you reach your desirable depths. On the second option, uh, you, can you can increase your depths uh, each session, each training day by one meters. Same as the uh, first option, you don't uh, skip your days off. Remember, days off is uh, have the same importance as a training day. So you do 20 meter dive, 21, 22, 23, and progressing uh, each day by one meter. So in this, in this case, of course, your progression is going to look slightly longer. However, it's probably going to be a little bit more safer. And then the third option, it is uh, you're not progressing uh, on each session, on each training day. You can do a couple of days uh, diving at the same depths and then increase the depths by two, three meters. Again, repeat it one or two time, uh, increase it again by two, three meters, repeat it a couple of times, increase it again, repeat it, etc. etc. And if you like the video so far, don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do it right now. Remember, these examples are just examples. In reality, this progression from 20 to 30 can take you much, much, much slower if, let's say, you have equalization issue or maybe just your depth adaptation is not as fast as it can be. Or maybe it can take you a little bit faster if you already maybe have uh, certain skills. Even, let's say, if you are like really good in swimming, more likely your, your, your depth progression is going to be slightly faster because your body is just knowing better how to behave in the water, right? So the progression, of course, uh, always vary from free diver to free diver. My general advice for people who are uh, thinking about progression from 20 to 30 meters, don't rush with the progression. Don't try to achieve a new personal best on each session. Focus on building a good foundation, such as a technique, slow depth adaptation, good frenzy equalization skills, etc. etc. And if you don't know how to do frenzy equalization yet, uh, check out this video which I recently made. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
click here.